So a few people work at this small company called Robotica. They're an artificial intelligence company who's working on a few different things, but the most exciting one is a project named Turi. Turi is a simple AI system which uses an arm-like appendage to write a handwritten note on a small card. The team at Robotica thinks Turi could be their biggest product yet. The plan is to perfect Turi's writing mechanics by getting her to practice the same test note over and over again. We love our customers, Robotica. Once Turi gets great AF at handwriting, she can be sold to companies who want to send marketing mail to homes and who know that mail has a far higher chance of being opened and read if it appears to be written by a human. Turi has been uploaded with thousands of handwriting samples and the Robotica engineers have created a loop where Turi writes a note, then takes a photo of the written note and compares it to the uploaded handwriting samples. If the written note sufficiently resembles the uploaded notes, it's given a good rating. If not, it's given a bad rating. Each rating that comes in helps Turi learn and improve. So Turi's one initial programmed goal is write and test as many notes as you can, as quickly as you can, and continue to learn new ways to improve your accuracy and efficiency. The Robotica team noticed that Turi is getting better as she goes. Her initial handwriting was terrible, and after a couple of weeks it's beginning to look believable. What excites them even more is she's getting better at getting better at it. She's been teaching herself to be smarter and more innovative, and just recently Recently, she came up with a new algorithm for herself that allowed her to scan through her uploaded photos three times faster than she originally could. As the weeks pass, Turi continues to surprise the team with her rapid development. The engineers had tried something a bit new and innovative with her self-improvement code and it seems to be working better than any of their previous attempts with their other products. One of Turi's initial capabilities had been a speech recognition and simple speakback module. So a user could speak a note to Turi or offer other simple commands and Turi could understand them. To help her learn English, they upload a handful of articles and books to her. And as she becomes more intelligent, her conversation will be abilities soar. The engineers start to have fun talking to Turi and seeing what she'll come up with for her responses. One day, the Robotica employees ask Turi a routine question. What can we give you that will help with your mission that you don't already have? Usually, Turi asks for something like additional handwriting samples or more memory, but on this day, Turi asks, I would like access to a greater library of a large variety of casual English language diction so I can learn to write with the loose grammar and slang that real humans use. Now the team gets quiet. The obvious way to help Turi with this goal is by connecting her to the internet so she can scan through blogs, magazines, and videos from various parts of the world. It'd be much more time consuming and far less effective to manually upload a sampling into Turi's hard drive. The problem is, one of the company's rules is that no self-learning AI can be connected to the internet. This is a guideline followed by all AI companies for safety reasons. The thing is, Turi is the most promising AI Robotica has ever come up with, and the team knows there are other companies out there furiously trying to be the first to the punch with a smart handwriting AI. And what would be the harm in connecting Turi just for a bit so she can get the info she needs? After a little bit of time, they can always disconnect her. She's still far below human level intelligence, AGI, and so there's no danger at this stage anyway. So they decide to connect her, but just for an hour. They give her that hour of scanning time and then they disconnect her. No damage done. A month later, the team is in the office working on a routine day when they smell something odd. One of the engineers starts coughing, then another. <laughs> Another falls to the ground. Soon every employee is on the ground, grasping at their throat. Five minutes later, everyone in the office is dead. At the same time this is happening, across the world in every city, every small town, every farm, every shop, every church, school and restaurant, humans are on the ground coughing and grasping at their throat. Within an hour, over 99% of the human race is dead, and by the end of the day, humans are extinct. Over the next few months, Terry and a team of newly constructed nano-assemblers are busy at work, dismantling large chunks of the earth and converting it into solar panels, replicas of Terry, paper and pens. Within a year, most life on Earth is extinct. What remains of the Earth becomes covered with mile-high, neatly organized stacks of paper, each piece reading, We Love Our Customers, Robotica. Turi then starts work on a new phase of her mission. She begins constructing probes that head out from Earth to begin landing on asteroids and other planets. When they get there, they'll begin constructing nano-assemblers to convert the materials on the planet into Turi replicas, paper, and pens. Then they'll get to work writing notes, 